Hey guys, for a long time I've been wanting to bring you a series of tutorials on Photoshop and Lightroom. And we're really fortunate to have Jackie, who has a lot of experience with both. She's part of our studio now. She's going to take you through a series of tutorials starting off with the basics. We want to arm you with these because we're going to start a contest in July. Lucky winner will win stuff from our sponsors like SanDisk and Bay Photo, really cool stuff. So make sure you pay attention to what she's telling you. Get out and shoot your own photos. And over to you, Jackie. OK, let's get started. Hi, guys. Um, so this is the second episode in our Lightroom series. Um, it's called Sorting Your Images Using Collections. So I personally enjoy this part of the editing process, but it's definitely more enjoyable now that I've found a way to work that is fast and efficient and helps me narrow down the keepers, which are the images that I will actually show the clients, add to my portfolio, or my website. So here's how it works. The main goal is for us to find our best photos and our worst photos. So Lightroom gives us three ways to rank our photographs. First, I'm going to talk about the one to five star rating system. And to do this, let's click on an image. And then you will just press a number on your keyboard from one to five. You see I just gave that a three star rating. You can delete that rating by pressing zero. There's no rating, or you can change the rating to a two, a four, a five, um, whatever you want. Also, if you want to select multiple photos and give them the same rating, you can do so by hitting Command and then selecting and pressing the correct number. But for now, I'm going to make all these zero and deselect. You can also add a color label, and you can do this by right-clicking the image, going down to set color label, and here you have a few options. You can use these color labels alongside of the number ratings. Here you see if you'd want to do that. I personally do not like using um, the number rating system or color labels. It's just too complicated for me. Um, if you think about it, you're going to be giving these photos a range from one to five. But what really matters is the one stars and five stars. Um, the two through fours don't really matter. They're just sitting there. Um, the one stars you're going to delete and the five stars you're going to keep as well, so why do you really need those four, three, and two stars? So instead, I use, a f I use flags. Um, I hope that you'll find these to be easier and you will use them as well. So to use flags, you will mark your best shots as picks, the bad images as rejects, and at the end, Lightroom is going to delete all of their rejects for you, leaving you with your best shots you picked. And then the so-so shots that you want to keep. So to mark a photo as pick, you will select the image and press P. And there you will see a flag. I'm going to enter the, um, the loop view. And to do that, you can just hit space. So when I pick the image, you will see it pops up there, and there's a little flag down here. To reject an image, you are just going to hit X, and it says set as rejected, and then there will be a little black flag. Here you can see it better. OK, and let's say we want to remove that flag and just leave it unflagged, you hit U for unflag. OK, so this is how I go about my process. Once my photos are imported into Lightroom, here you can see my folder is imported. And they appear in the library module in grid mode, which is down here. I'm going to hit the space bar or double click on the first image. And here, I will be in the loop view. You can also go to loop view by clicking right here. So 
So I'm going to go through the photos with my arrow keys. Um, this makes it super fast and I'm just going to search through and pick the ones I think are the best. Um, I'm not going to do any with the ones that I think are so-so but I want to keep and the ones that I definitely want to delete I'm going to reject with X's. Okay, so that's the process that I use. Um, you'll be amazed how fast you can actually fly through a couple hundred images and mark your keepers and rejects. But there's still a few things we need to do after this. So once you've gotten your picks and rejects flagged, let's get rid of the rejects and delete them from your hard drive. So let's go up to the photo menu up here and go down to delete rejected photos. Doing this, um, once you're in grid view, is going to display all of your re rejected photos behind. Clicking delete from disk removes them from your actual disk. Um, I always delete from disk because if they are bad enough to reject, then I'm never going to use these photos, so why do I need to keep them? So I'm going to go ahead and click delete from disk. Um, if you fill the same way, then you can also click delete from disk. So now you'll just see um, all the images that are pics and the ones that you assigned no flag to. So right now we just want to see the ones that are pics. So you will go up here to attribute and if you do not see that, you can hit the backslash like this click attribute and up here you can select what you want to be shown down below right now we only want the flag to be shown okay next I want to put these pics into a collection a little bit about collections collections are the key organizational tool that we use not just here in the sorting phase but throughout the whole Lightroom workflow a collection is kind of like a photo album um, of your favorite photos from a shoot. So once you put all of your images in a collection, um, later if you open Lightroom and you want to look at those photos, you can just go here and click your collection and they will all be in there. So to get your pics into a collection, let's select all, Command A or Control a for PC. Then you're going to go over to your collections panel and click the plus sign. Click create collection. And here we have the option to name our collection. I like to name, use the name, um, the same name that I've used in my folder. So Lauren, and then I'm going to put pics afterwards. And here you see there's an option for inside a collection set. I'm going to leave this checkbox turned off right now. And down below you see the options include selected photos. This is already selected because before opening this dialog, we selected all of our images. So it pre-selects this box. Make new virtual copies and set as target collection. We are going to keep unchecked for this tutorial. Next we will hit the create button and this will create our collection. Now you see that you've got a collection of your best from that shoot and anytime you want to see these keepers just go over to the collection panel and click on that collection. Just a side note, um, collections do not actually affect the photos on your computer. These are just working collections for our convenience. So we can delete photos from this collection and it doesn't affect the real photos on your hard drive. Now from this point on, we're going to be working with the photos in our collection. So as you can see, um, out of the 93 portraits, I only picked seven that were good shots. Um, so now we have our picks collection. And these are great pictures, um, but I might want to dwindle these down a little bit more, maybe 
to add them to my portfolio or to print a few. So within our collection of picks, there are some really good shots that stand out, and we need to refine our sorting process a little bit more to find our best shots from this group. So I'm going to show you two different ways to go about viewing your photos to narrow things down. Um, the first method you already know, and that is using the flags. You can start this whole process over again, but before you do, you are going to want to deselect, or actually select, all of these images. So Command A, and then we're going to hit U to unflag. It says no photos. That is because our attribute is still set to flagged. Let's uncheck this, and there you go. Now you can go through and press P on all the ones that you like. Um, also get a bigger view by hitting the space bar, and there you can go through. The second view that you might find helpful is called the survey view. This view I use quite a bit when I have a number of images that are very similar and I'm trying to find the best one from that group. And so to enter this view, we're going to go into grid and select a couple images that look similar using command. Okay, and then to get into the survey view, you're going to press N and to make this a little more appealing, we can hit Shift Tab, and this will take away all of the panels surrounding the images. And if you want to put more of a focus on these images, you can hit L, and that will give you a lights out feature. There you go. And from here, I like to eliminate, start eliminating images, and you can do this with the X. Um, also, if you want to rearrange what you see, you can click the photo and drag. There you go. And you can have more than two photos in here. Um, let me show you. You can exit out by hitting the L button, hit G to go back to grid, and hit shift tab to show your panels. So let's select a couple. I'm going to hit N for survey, shift tab, and double tap the L. So here I can arrange. And from here, I'm just going to hit the X on ones that I am not happy with. Okay, and I like these two. So to get out of this again, you hit L. G for grid, shift tab to show your panels. So as you can see, the ones that I liked are still highlighted. So we can go ahead and press P, and it will pick those images. Now I'm going to pick the rest that I think are the best. these, and they're selected, so I'm going to hit P again, and now all of the ones that we think are the best of the best are labeled with a white flag, which means they are picked. So from here, I'm going to click on the attribute button again, and I just want to see the picked images. I'm going to select all. And then I'm going to hit Command N, which will bring up the Create a Collection box. Or you can go here and create a collection. Now, for this one, I'm going to label it the same name as the folder, Lauren, again. But then I'm going to label Selected, because these are the selected final images and I want to include selected folders. That's all I want checked. Then I will hit Create. And there you see our new folder with the best of the best images. 
So now we have two collections, um, one with your keepers from the shoot and one with the final picks collection with only the very best images from the shoot. So this concludes our tutorial on um, organizing your photos and putting them into collections. Thank you. Hey guys, be sure to subscribe to our video so you can see all the new ones coming out and... Also like. And share them with your friends, okay? Make sure you share them with your friends and also... We'd like to see your comments on what other topics you would like for us to produce. Tell us what you want and we'll produce it for you, okay? Stay tuned.